Hello everyone, welcome to our first problem solving tutorial. Today we will be solving UV online judges Armstrong number problem. In this problem it is said that a number n is an Armstrong number of order n if n is equal to a to the power n plus b to the power n plus c to the power n plus z to the power n and so on. Here n is capital N is the main number that we are checking if it's Armstrong number or not. A, B, C, D, these are the digits that are in this original capital N number and small n that is a to the power n plus b to the power n c to the power n here the small n is the order of capital N that is the number of digits in capital N. So the number of digits are denoted by small n, the main number is denoted by capital N and the digits are represented with small small a, b, c, d, etc. So in this problem our task is to determine if a input number is Armstrong number or not. Say for example 153 is an Armstrong number of order 3. That means uh, we can see from our earlier earlier problem statement that order order means the number of digits that are there in capital N. And since there are three digits in 153, so order will be three. That is, the value of small n will be three. Now, in place of a, b, c, d. In 153, there are 1, 5, 3. So, we can see that if we add 1 to the power 3, 5 to the power 3, and 3 to the power 3, we will get 153, which, was, which is actually equal to the original capital N that we have taken as input. So, we can call 153 as an Armstrong number. In the same way, we can call 54,748 an Armstrong number. Since there are 5 digits, the value of small n will be 5 and the digits, if we add the digits to the power 5, we will get the original number back. In this problem, you, I have to determine if a given number is Armstrong number or not. Okay. Now, in input, at first, in our input 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 data data set, at first we will be taking a capital integer t as input, which is which is the number of test cases. That means there will be t number of capital t number of input sets that will be processing and giving output. Then. Each of the next t lines contain a positive integer capital N, where n is less than or equal to 10 to the power 9. That is, there are 9 zeros after 1. So this basically means that at first we will take a test case number as input, then for each test case we will be taking a number capital N and we will check if that number is Armstrong number or not. And it is said that the input number will be less than 10 to the power 9. So what will be the output? For each line of input, there will be one line of output. That means if the test case number is capital T, then for every, then there will be T lines of input and for each line of output, there will be one line input, there will be one line of output. If N is an Armstrong number, print Armstrong, otherwise print not Armstrong. So what we'll have to do is we, we have to take a number as input and we have to output either Armstrong or not Armstrong depending on the numbers properties like whether it is an Armstrong number or not. So for example we can see from the sample input that we have taken 3 at first as the test case number then there are 3 input sets in any input set there is a capital number taken as input at first it's 153 for that we, we are putting Armstrong, for 2732 we are putting not Armstrong, and so on. 
So now that, that the problem statement is explained, we will have to go into coding. So let's start getting into it. <coughs> At first, we'll be including the header files now. So before jump, jumping into coding, let's first talk about what should be our approach. Now, my approach is, at first, we'll be taking a number n. Then we will keep subtracting well, we can easily find the order of n. We will, we will see that during our code. And we will get the capital N as input. We can find the small n, that is the number of digits in n. I will show that while coding. So, if we get small n and we know the capital N, then we can add the summation. We can, get, we can add the digits to the power small n and ch check if the summation summation is equal to the capital m so we so my approach is i will uh, at um, let's just explain it with an example say so for example we are taking 150 as input my approach will be to here small n is 3 order is 3 so i will keep subtracting at first 3 to the power 3, then 5 to the power 3, then 1 to the power 3 from original 153. In the end, I will check if the sub final subtractor result is 0 or not. If it's 0, then 153 is an Armstrong number. If it's not, then it's not an Armstrong number. I hope I made it clear. So, as we can see from the problem statement, uh, from input pattern that I have to take an integer capital T as test case. Well, we don't don't necessarily need to name the variable as capital T. I'm just doing this. You can name it anything like small t or dtt. It doesn't really matter. So I have taken test case number as input. Now I'll run a loop which will run for capital T number of times. So, in each test case, I will be taking a number capital N as input. We will check if capital N is Armstrong number or not. Now, we have to get the value of small n that is the order of capital n that means the number of digits that's, that are there in capital n so let's name the variable as small n and initialize it with zero now we will be checking how many digits are there in capital N. For that, we can keep dividing it with 10 until we get 0. So, un until N is greater than, until N is, well, as long as N is greater than 0, we will keep dividing it by 10 and we will keep incrementing small n. So, in the end, So in the end, we'll get number of digits in small n. So let's just check if I've done it correctly. So if we, at first I'm taking test case number as input, then if I take one fifth as input, I'm getting 3, which is actually correct. So I'm getting the value of 3, okay. So it's working. But here's the thing. I have I have gotten the value of small n, but the value of original n is not there anymore. It has turned into zero. That means since we are dividing it by, by 10 every time the loop runs, 
it's uh, and eventually it has become zero. So how do we get the original value back? To do that, I will declare another variable called original n, and we will keep the original value of n in original n. So that if I do now this. I will get the original value of n back. Okay, so now we have the value of original n in capital N, and we also have the number of digits that are there in capital N. Okay. Now what we'll have to do is subtracting. Now what we'll have to do is subtracting the digits, subtracting each digit to the power of small n from original n. That means if n original n was 153, we'll have to keep subtracting 3 to the power 3, 5 to the power 3, and 1 to the power 3 from original 153. How do we do that? We do that by well, to get access to all the digits separately, I have to do something like modding the original n by 10 I do that I will get the last digit if I mod a number by 10 I will get the last most I will, I will get the rightmost digit from of that number so let's just name it as digit now so now if the number was 153 by modding it by 10 I will get 3 but in next iteration I need to have 5 then 1 how do we do that will be divide n by 10 so now if the first, at first number was 153 if I mod it by 10 I get 3 then I make 153 into 15 by dividing it by 10 now when the loop comes when our program comes here again in digit we get 15 mod 10 that is 5 and 15 becomes 1 in next iteration in place of digit we get 1 mod 10 that is 1 and if I divide 1 by 10 I get 0 then the loop terminates so we will be getting 3 5 and 1 in digit variable now what we'll have to do is subtract that number from original n but we won't subtract it directly, we will subtract the number to the power small n from original n. That is digit to the power small n from original n. Now we have to include mat.h for using that this pow built in, which is a pow, pow function, which is a built-in function that returns the value of digit to the power n. Now that the subtraction procedure is taken care of, we have to check if original n is equal to 0 or not. If it's equal to 0, then the number is Armstrong number. If it's not, then it's not Armstrong number. If equals 0, we have to output Armstrong. If it's not, okay, so let's check if our code is correct. First, we take input 3, and from 153 we get Armstrong, for 2732 we get not Armstrong, for 54748 we get Armstrong. So it seems to be working fine. So we have checked the uh, sample input and output and we have seen that uh, we are getting correct output but let's just check if there is anything wrong. Well, it appears that there is no problem but since capital N is less than or equal to 10 to the power 9 that means that say for a week we can have well the 
the maximum number of n can be 10 to the power 9. That means if there are 9 9s, then it's it is within the range of capital N. 9 9 is within the range of capital N and we don't really want to ca hand take risk of handling 9 to the power 9, uh, 9 to the power 9 such big numbers like 9 to the power 9. It might cause the problem of overflow. Well, it's not guaranteed that that problem will occur, but just to be on the safe side, we'll declare the number capital N as long long, just to be in the safe side. And we will be taking input of a long long number. We're doing this so that nothing unwanted will unwanted memory overflow occurs. Now if we check the inputs, I'm sure we'll be getting correct output. Yeah, we're getting correct output. Now let's submit the code and check if it's working. Word. Okay. So let's submit it. And it is accepted. That means our code was correct. So that's all from for now. Thanks for watching.